creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. Memories are funny things. The good ones fill our lives with meaning, with context, with clarity. While other memories can deceive, the ones that make you believe that you know the truth, those are the dangerous ones. When you look back on the decisions you've made in your life, the one thing you don't want to feel is regret. I have to say, just to be able to come back to the place where it actually all started. I mean, and I honestly, honestly believe that the show would not have been the phenomena that it was if it weren't for the, the launch that we did at the original Comic-Con. Those people went out and they evangelized and created websites and talked about it and talked about it. And this was before, you know, social media had really taken off. So they just did it by sheer force of of their fandom. Oh, getting the crowd behind the show is so important because that's what created us in the first place. You know, when we debuted uh, the pilot at Comic Con ten years ago, that's what changed everything. You know, the fans got behind it, the word of mouth, especially in this day and age with all the digital media and the social networking, word of mouth means a lot. So if we don't make something that's quality and that's something that the fans can get behind, it'll never be a success. So it is really important, especially you know with network shows, you rarely get a you know a second chance, so the first few episodes are really important, so we really need that, um, you know, the fan support to come out of the gate strong. I know that you have no control over who you are, what you are. These powers are not natural, and they're not safe. They cannot be trusted. So as far as I see it, there's only one solution to that. Being back at my, in my NBC family is already, you know, so special. And <clears throat> being back on a, a reimagining or continuation of a show that I was already a fan of, that, I, that you know, Chuck was so kind of closely linked to in in the sci-fi fantasy genre world, but also in you know in this world because of that SDCC and um, and on the same night and you know all that stuff, it's it's really surreal. I, I watched the first one and uh, I became a fan after that, and it was uh, it's incredible and it just it touches you know so many different demographics because we have so many different people throughout the cast and it's such a big cast that everybody can find something interesting in it. It's crazy. I mean, how often do you? get a chance to revisit something like this. I mean, you know, just, you know, as Tim said, it just, it just really doesn't happen. Every once in a while, there might be a follow-up to something, but to actually have a whole series of episodes, you know, in production that's, that, that's going to hit the airwaves again after all this time is, is crazy. And it was just going, going back into production was, was so exciting. What they can expect from Heroes Are Born is the same stuff you loved in uh, Heroes. You know, it's all drama about the character. You know, some superpowers, some heroes, some villains, and uh, and a lot of fun. You know, there are going to be some old favorites, and there's going to be a lot of new favorites yeah, as well. So, a uh, lot to look forward to. Hello, Mohinder. In other countries, they shoot people like me in the streets. We will be able to locate every enhanced human on the planet. Who are you? What do you want? You're Noah Bennett, right? I know that you worked for Primatech. Uh, I sold paper. Sure. Along with bagging and tagging. The number of Evos is higher on the planet than ever before. They're here to save us. And where are they? Huh? You see any people with powers around here? They are all gone. They are hiding or dead. Heroes set a bar back then that w was unprecedented. No one else was doing that kind of thing. That filmic quality where you really, and also it was very personal. So in a, in a way the show was huge and in a way this, the show was also very, very small. If you're a fan of the show, the great thing about this is that it just brings you up to speed immediately. You know, you go from, okay, this is a different world, and who is Renatus, and what's going on, and that, you know, and there's the hero truther, and, and, and it, it just, it, it, I mean, you get to see the, a picture of, of, 
Noah Bennett and Claire Bennett and the, the whole family and there's a, there's the broken HRGs in there and there's you know there's a bunch of things that that you might remember from the original series and then to go into the Renatus we're going to test you for powers and it's a, it's a great it gives you a, it sets up really well the feeling of this seemingly you know benign corporation and you very quickly get the idea that maybe things are not as they seem. You cannot deny just the spectacle of this show and know that we set a bar that other shows now, you look at the trailers for these other shows that are out, they're unbelievable. I mean, honestly, they're, they're movies on TV. But Heroes is setting a new bar. I, I, the stuff I've seen, the stuff I've shot, I am not lying. I have no interest. I do not own the show, people. I am just lucky to be a part of it. And it is unbelievable. Someone doesn't want you to remember. Something big's coming, man. It doesn't matter how ordinary you think you are. We all have the potential to be heroes. Do you ever get the feeling that you're meant to do something extraordinary? Hello, Noah. It's coming. And when it does, everything changes. I'm just another one of the hunted. But you can call me Micah. Now, the show is not just back. The show is back with an incredible app that'll catch you up and keep you going and you can reference it and go, oh yeah. I mean, if you, if you were ever lost, um, and then that's the opportune word on a show that I was the pilot of, you know, that set the bar for not being able to follow a story or whatever, that's not gonna happen anymore. You have an app, you can look up the characters, it's so beautiful. Dark Matters, a series that's gonna catch you up and also fill in the blanks and the holes and, and stands on its own, really. And then the games, you know, we've got games, it's just, it's a whole new hero's world. I mean, like, I'm such a big fan of heroes, and I'm so happy to be part of this, and the scripts are obviously fantastic, but, like, I've never seen it pieced together. So watching it, like, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for this <laughs> to come on air. You know, I got, I, I got goosebumps watching it. It was fantastic. What? Surprised to see me? It's happening faster than we thought. I don't think I can control it much longer. always uh, kicks off the beginning of our production season and so we just started work Tuesday and it's also a great time to reconnect and, and play and you know support the show. The fifth year I mean you can't help but think how lucky are we <laughs> to be here for a fifth season and have and our, our fans grow every year I mean that's crazy as an actor you don't you, you don't even think about a fifth season, ever, when you start. And now we're here, and it's gone so fast. And the idea that we're now going into our fifth season is just amazing, and it's due to the fans. I mean, I know that's kind of a hackneyed thing to say, but it's really true. Like, if it weren't for the fans, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. It's another year of just sort of able to tell our stories, bring some excitement, um, and, you know, bring some joy to the fans and the viewers. There's a whole new, big, awesome story arc that has to do with a Vesson kind of uh, movement that is growing. We're sort of going back to square one, you know, it's, um, it's really now more about Nick being that lone wolf, that lone soldier, and really on a mission, you know, sort of by himself, uh, you know, alone, that sort of that hero's journey. And really, he sort of has to rediscover who he is, rediscover what his powers are, and what his mission really is. You know, Juliet's dead, and uh, the royals are obliterated, <laughs> and we have a completely new storyline about to start. Um, also, personally, Rosalie's um, very dark past comes back into play this season and really challenges the new married couple. But Nick is going for vengeance and he is in love with his kid. So that's all I really know. There's going to be a 
new kind of rebooting to the show. There's going to be a kind of a Vesson uprising against all of us. Yeah, there was a really cool gallery that, you know, showed the characters that it was related to, like the chili, the costume, and the horn rim glasses that had a little crack in them. And it was really cool. The gallery was very well laid out. So it was nice. You can't go anywhere in the in the sort of Comic-Con area without running into something that reminds you that Heroes Reborn is coming back. Um, it's uh, the, the, the whole experience of walking through, first of all, seeing all the props from the former show, and then this fantastic interactive sort of uh, 4D kind of where the floor shakes and, and you you know you get your superpowers and all that. Yeah, I saw that. That was really uh, a great thing to be able to see. You know, the cheerleaders out with the blood on it and my ID and and uh, I think Petrelli Peter's uh, passport and all that stuff. It's very very cool. I mean, it's it just reminds me I should have stolen stuff. I really should have taken stuff. But you don't know that the show's going off the air, so you didn't take anything. No, I, it's to see stuff um, immortalized or you know really kind of put on display like that means that there's really an importance and people should have seen around that section even when I walked through you were like oh yeah there's Matt Parker look at this and I'm like I'm right here guys hello you know it, people are really digging it it's great